Okay, so uh, I've got myself uh, a PlayStation 1, a uh, Japanese model, NTSC-J, uh, SCP-H5500. Uh, um, th this is the model that came uh, with the parallel port. Uh, let me reframe this. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna remove this in a second anyway. So this one is the one that came with the parallel I/O port. Um, later models uh, did not have that. So if you're planning to use a PSIO. You're gonna need one of these PlayStations. Um, there's also uh, a, a another mod coming out soon uh, called uh, PS1 Digital, which adds an internal HDMI port. So I bought it on uh, um, on eBay, and uh, there's, there's something to be said about ja uh, buying stuff uh, from Japan. When they say uh, you know it's in good condition, they mean it's uh, it just came out of the factory. I mean it's pretty flawless from for a console that was actually sold in 1997, according uh, according to the information I got in the box. Um, yeah, so. Because I live in, in Europe, we run on uh, 220 uh, to 230 uh, volts uh, mains. And uh, if you plug one of these in, because they run on 100 volts, uh, the Japanese models, uh, you're going to blow the internal fuse, which is uh, not good. Um, so, I mean, you might have already spotted it on the, on the desk. I've got a... Uh, power supply uh, module that came from uh, a UK PlayStation, uh, SCP-H5502. Um, I'm not sure um, uh, about the codes for these, uh, or, or um, I don't know if I can maybe show it, let's see if I can. Um, they all come with a, with a code and a model number, but uh, these days, it's kind of hard to uh, to track down the exact numbers. Um, but yeah, the safest the, the safest way to sort of make sure that uh, you got a functioning power supply that would work is to use uh, one from your local region. Um, I couldn't find any information regarding whether uh, there are other differences, but. Uh, uh, the only thing you need to look out for is this. Some of them have got more uh, seven pins, I believe, and this one has got five, uh, which is uh, kind of the standard on the later models. Uh, so you gotta be careful and check which one you've got on your PlayStation to replace it. So yeah, let's uh, let's tear into it. I've already opened it before. The first thing I did was basically to disconnect the power supply in case uh, you know uh, I forgot. Uh, the, uh, this was the was the Japanese model because um, uh, I've got also a um, PAL model and um, yeah it's pretty easy so only six screws on the back With the with the PS1 digital mod, uh, apparently uh, they'll include um, a dual mode oscillator, so it will be able to run um, import games. Well, by import games, I mean NTSC games at 60 years, um, and uh, on on a PAL console as well. Okay, so let's put this aside. Right. So. Uh, Okay, it's on the wrong side, but hopefully you can see it. This is the component we need to take out. I already disconnected uh, uh, the the power supply to the PlayStation, um, and uh, once you get to this point, there's actually two more two more screws to secure the board to the chassis. Right, we got them out of the way. 
yes, and that's it. So, pretty interesting. Uh, there's uh, subtle differences between between the two. Let me put this around this way. Uh, the, the interesting part is that there is a some sort of potentiometer here on uh, on the Japanese model, and uh, I wonder I wonder what that's for. Uh, well, um, I, I, I tried to look it up, but uh, this this console is so old. Uh, it's uh, it's really hard to find uh, manuals, uh, service manuals, um, or any sort of information. Uh, um, on the actual layout of these boards, so well, I'm no, I'm not an electronic engineer, so yeah, let's leave it at that. So I'm gonna just put this back in. Let's see, just slide right in. There you go. All right, so let's put the screws back in. I'll speed up the video if, uh, if it's boring. Whoop. Try to look for this information uh, online and uh, I couldn't find anything, so I hope this helps somebody, uh, someone. So, so yeah, so this is just uh, the cable that uh, need to plug back in into this sort of, uh, into, let's see, here, focus to this port on the on the UK board well I should say SCPH five five zero two so it should just go in okay right now there's a lot of capacitors and uh, sort of exposed components so I'm not gonna test it with the without the shell on but we will test it. Um, oh yeah, and an interesting part on the Japanese models, different layout on the on the button. Uh, it actually says power and open. Uh, I believe uh, there's a symbol on the European version. If I'm wrong, I'll cut it out. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so the button, so, so the action on the button is not as, uh, as nice as the Japanese version. I wonder, yeah. So on, on, I also have another PlayStation, the one I had since, uh, since I was a child, and that's uh, uh, a, later, a later series. And I remember the button press being more like this. I mean, I can always always post the video and test it later, but I'm not sure if it's that interesting. Everything's lined up properly. Oh yeah, and one thing worth saying, I guess, is also, you know, I could have just bought another uh, PlayStation, you know, just to grab the the power supply from it. I I don't know. It's, uh, it's, it's probably would have been a little bit more expensive. I would have had more spare parts, I guess. And uh, uh, yeah, but I don't I don't like I don't like uh, ruining them, or at least getting at uh, a. a Perfectly good uh, PlayStation 1, I guess, if it's working. Um, fortunately, around the time I was uh, actually looking for for the power supply, which, by the way, really hard to find. Really hard to find, especially if you need, uh, uh, you know, a specific model, specific voltage, specific version. Because, uh, again, like, I'm sure different different codes and and I've put the codes for this particular um, for particular model and everything on the description. But uh, if you're looking for a specific uh, a specific part, 
using the, uh, the sort of the serial numbers these days is pretty hard. Uh, okay, this is off. Let's, uh, let's plug it in. Let's go away. Boot up tax. All right, my house goes up in smoke. Well, at least it's uh, it's been recorded for posterity. Yeah, no problem there. Power is on, and I could hear also the the disc drive spinning inside. So there's not to be in it. Uh, I do now have a TV to plug it in, but we can test the sound of my speaker to see it should make the classic to that sound. Let me power it on. Let's see. Is it? There it is. I love this sound. <laughs> yeah, and uh, if I put a CD in, we would have probably heard the, the sort of the second part of it. Actually, um, I'm actually going to test it now. The game I've got to test it, Metal Gear Solid, Japanese version, of course. Uh, this is not a modded PlayStation, so and I do not own any ripped CDs either. So, all right, let me get a better. Yeah, let's see if we can hear the classical, I guess. A uh, tone when the uh, of Konami. Yeah. CD player is working. Oh, brings back memories. Yeah, there it is. God, <laughs> it does bring back memories. Okay. I'll power it off. And, uh, well, that's it. Hopefully somebody found this video useful. And if one person found it useful, that's it you know, job done. So yeah. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.